Welcome to your Daily Five for Tuesday, January 29th, 2024. A few weeks ago, I did a five about a special that was getting a lot of headlines and attention at the time, which was advertised at that point as an AI-generated George Carlin special called I'm Glad I'm Dead. And when you watch this thing and everything around it was saying that this was something that was a comedy special based on George Carlin's material entirely written by some form of machine generated code or algorithm or whatever. And to be fair, many people were suspicious of it right away. Many writers were saying, yeah, I'm not sure that this is actually machine generated, but we didn't have any actual confirmation that it wasn't. We just had the fact that the two individuals that were, that are in, well, really one now we found out, but the two people in the podcast where this machine generated third host thing exists, were not exactly known for, you know, being on the, the up and up on what they were saying and what they were doing. So there was immediate suspicion around it, but honestly, that wasn't really the point of the five when I did it. My bigger problem was, Hey, this doesn't seem like George Carlin and it's not funny. Those were really the important points. Really, second, the second part, that not funny part. I mean, you could say a lot of things about George Carlin, but his writing was very good, and he was often extremely funny. And this thing wasn't even anywhere near his worst material in terms of how it was funny. It just wasn't funny. And now, because there's been a lawsuit filed by Carlin's daughter about this, because there's, you know, it was, no matter what they kept putting as far as these dis disclaimers at the beginning and all the rest of it, they were shopping this around on George Carlin's name. I don't know how they're going to escape that. I don't know where the law finds it. I'm not saying they're necessarily going to be fined or anything like that, but they absolutely were selling this thing on George Carlin's name. So in any event, there's been a lawsuit filed, and now it's come out that one of the two people involved with the podcast, whose name is Chad... Klugin? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, a writer is actually the one who came up with all this material that based on Carlin's material, he wrote some type of script for this thing, fed it into a text-to-speech translation system of some kind, and out came this special along with images that were in fact generated by some type of machine algorithm based on the material it was saying. And th so this thing was never an AI constructed comedy special. It was a human written special that was then interpreted and uh, was married images and the vocalization. As far as I can tell, I don't think a human did the impression. I think the machine did it, but whatever, there's a definitely a gray area and there's definitely definite human involvement contrary to the way it was advertised. And I'll be honest with you now, knowing that, that to me is somehow worse. I actually think that I would prefer if this thing had been written by a machine because it would at least explain to me anyway, why it, it's not funny and why the imitation doesn't work. I could see a machine not understanding the, the humor because it's the machine is not a person. So it would it could see and read what Carlin did, but it wouldn't necessarily completely understand it. And it would explain why the jokes don't work. But the fact that a person who I'm assuming at least had some familiarity with Carlin's stuff. I mean, why would you watch and generate this and spend all this time on it if you weren't a fan, unless it was purely an attention-seeking thing, which I guess it could be, and that's still pathetic, just pathetic in a different way. But let's assume this was a person who was actually a fan or at least liked some of Carlin's work. I don't know how you release this thing and think that it's actually a good representation of even what you are falsely advertising it to be. And so that does make it worse to me. I wish this thing had just been a machine generated comedy special because I am pretty confident that there do exist machine models that could generate something like this. Not this exact thing, but probably something very close. It makes sense. This seems like something generated by a machine. The fact that a person did this, that is actually worse to me. I, I wish this had been a machine generated special because I would just write it off and say, yeah, this is people jumping the gun. They think this machine stuff can do stuff that they can't yet and never really will in the same way that Carlin did. I'm not saying it's ever going to get to that point, but I do think at some point we will probably get better examples of this that are actually created by a machine. But the fact that this is a person who wrote this and then put this out like this, that's worse. That is actually worse to me than the original premise of, yeah, this is just a bad machine generated imitation of George Carlin. Don't get me wrong. That's not good, but I could actually see why it would end up where it did. The fact that a person wrote this and thought that it was passable. I don't have an explanation for that. And I don't know if anybody's going to be able to give me one. So I'm curious what all of you listening think, isn't it, is it worse that a person did this or is it just the same type of bad? I'm curious. So you let me know later.